welcome back to my channel my name is Sophia and I'm the curly sewister hi welcome back I've had a flurry of new subscribers so hi thanks for joining me um oh, I'm full of cold I'm so sorry I probably shouldn't be filming this because it's gonna be really annoying for people to listen to but I've not put a video out in ages I've got some that I just need to edit but I thought I've had my sewing scrubs subscribe I've had my sewing subscription magazine come and it's been here for ages and I've just not even opened it. So I thought, right, today is the day I just need to crack on and open it. So yeah, this is number three, I think. So let me open it up and see. So, ta-da! We'll have a look at the patterns that have come first then. And the patterns... So there's lots of other bits as well, so advertisements to one side. Sewing for kids. Oh, 15 easy sew projects to make for the little ones. That's cool. What have we got? Decorations, plushy toys, wearables, school makes and gift ideas. Let's have a quick... Oh, cute. Um, Pyjamas. So, little um, intro there. Some romper patterns as well. Um, I've got a few romper patterns for my little one um, from Waves and Wild. So I've made him a, a couple of them. They, I'm sorry, like I make these videos and I'm, I don't, I've not shown you any of the stuff that I've made. I'm terrible at that. I'll, you know, buy all the things, but... I'm rubbish at sharing my makes, really, really rubbish at that. So I'm so sorry. I will get around to it. It's the taking the photo and this and this and that. Just I need to because today is the 31st of March that I'm actually filming this video, and it's so frugal reveal day. And I made my skirt ages ago, and I'm just not even taking a photo of it. So I just need to. I need to take a photo of it. I am. I kind of like a bit of a. I'm not a perfectionist, but I'm, I'm like, oh, it's not right. Is it good enough to put? But I just need to just go for it. Oh, and stop overthinking. So anyway, uh, a pom pom dress, and then oh, I made this for my little nephew. Um, so it was a little cushion with a little pouch to put like your books in. Um, and I had like a really small cushion padding thing from I don't know from where and anyway I made it for him because he chose this dinosaur fabric from B&M fabrics in Leeds we went once with my sister and he was like dinosaurs so we bought it um and my sister's like can you make me something for him um so I was like okay fine so I made it for him um and he loves it I put like a little handle on it as well if I can, I'll try and get her to take a photo of it for me. Um, but he takes it everywhere with him. He loves it. So anyway, and then some bunting as well. Hungry Caterpillar, my little one, loves, loves me reading him that book. Um, so that's that. Sleeping Tots, a little Moses basket for their dolls. Uh, how to make that as well. So arty, so that's like a pencil case. Um, a little drawstring bag as well it's a cute little fox one um road trip driving toys mm -hmm. that's quite cute and then a little um lunch box bag thing as well a little pig toy little ladybird toy thing as well so That'll be, um, I'll keep that. Oh, it'd be quite cute to have that. Right, the patterns. So, pyjama bottoms. This is by Crafty So-and-so. I've heard of Crafty So-and-so. I'm sure I follow them on Instagram. So, oh, sorry, my face there. So, that is one of the patterns. Pyjama bottoms. And let me tell you. So, it is... Um, sizes from waist 26 inch to 59 inch and hips 37 inch to 68 and yeah it's 
Pajama can be made with any woven cotton, including lawn, poplin, brush cotton, um, also nice and viscose fabrics and single layer jerseys as well. I've got the Luna pajamas from Sew Over It um, that I'll be talking about in another video very soon that I'm doing. Um, so yeah, one of I'm gonna start putting these in a pile that I don't not going to be keeping because there's no point in me keeping them um yeah that's not one i'm going to be keeping because i know i've already got something very similar and then it's the marie dress oh, that's cute i like it i like i like um so and this is by i think it's like a simply sewing one so it's really cute the little line drawings i mean Move out the way so you can see. I think they're really, really cute. But the thing is, I've I love the mystosis dress. I go on about it every time. Um, by Deer and Doe, and I used uh, Marie from Stitch Odyssey's little um, tutorial on Instagram to make. A, a mandarin collarless one and it looks very similar to that but this has not got buttons down the front it's cute i like it let me tell you a little bit about it so modern and modi modest the marnie dress is your answer to the perfect office to occasion outfit um and light to medium weight cottons crepe rayon viscose or linen and it goes from a bust 32 inch to 60 inch waist 25 inch to 52 inch and hips 35 to 64 so that sounds like it's okay i don't like the fact that it's you know the perfect office to occasion outfit i don't know it seems quite formal i don't know it's maybe it's just the that one definitely um I don't know. I feel like I've got lots of similar things to that. Although I do like that little belt thing. I'm just, yeah. I like the look of it, I thought, initially. But I'm kind of not, I don't know. I didn't know. I'll have to have a think about that one. They had, usually have some more styling, tri ugh, styling tips in here. So we'll have a look inside like we do. And I'll have a little think. So come and join me. So I might do it slightly differently this time. I might kind of just hold it up and do it that way. But let me know which way you prefer. Um, so they are this month focusing on slowing down, stress awareness month. Um, okay. And then they have got projects, the Marie dress. Um, okay. So there's some cute things in here. Right, let's have a look. So I've got advertisements, pin board. Oh, look, this is the Pippa dress by Sew Over It. Now I am a, what do you call it? But I signed up for the, I signed up <clears throat> recently. I think it was only like 10 pound for the full year and you got one free PDF and you get insider information so they send you um information about patterns that are going to be released um earlier than everyone else basically so yeah the people dress i did really like the look of that but i'm trying to be good I'm trying to be good guys so yeah um it is really cute i like the little asymmetric asymmetrical design and the fact that they've got buttons but it's a four button so you know they don't i don't have to contend with buttonholes but i haven't bought it um but i do like the look of it i think tamlin from so um, tamlin from sewn on the tine is making this i think or maybe she mentioned it so i love her styling so i'll have to see how she styles it it probably will influence me to buy it then so right and then <clears throat> There's a little mini profile of Bria Stelfo Fox, uh, who is at Bria Sews, and she is a full-time graphic designer. So I like that dress that she's got on there. That's nice, and that ochre. 
and the pattern edit so flared pants are back oh i don't know how i feel about that i am five foot mm, i think i'm just five foot to be fair so i'm only petite and yeah i didn't like flares the first time round, <laughs> so i yeah it's not one for me i remember getting my other foot stuck in the in the flares and falling so yeah it's not for me but anyway there's loads of different um styles on there for all the flared um inspiration and then there's some new hemline gold um that they have a really like the look of that and then they've got some embroidery i'd love to get into embroidery but i am such an impatient person that i one results straight away and then they've got some inspiring books as well classes and events nothing ever near me although i'll complain about that but then if there is anything i'm like oh I can't attend so bonus book and pattern when you subscribe so the make it simple book by tilly and the buttons i mean fabric bundles from minerva and then what's this tips and tricks so this is tips and tricks about just random things it's all about pockets french seams finishing touches so little um tips and tricks about things that people might have written in about and then this is the marie dress so here it is looks very formal does that one very very formal as wish i did say you know office i just don't um, i don't know i don't know what you what i think of that I just think I've got lots of dresses very similar to it. I don't know. Yeah. Anyway. Okay. Oh, I love that. That is so beautiful. It's a um, little cardigan. Sorry if I take my face out of the way. Might be to see it. By um, Oliver Bonas. Bonas. So they've given you some... Um, fabric options and then mindful makes are so a luxurious set of home accessories oh dude that was really cute sam and a quilt and a pillow as well beautiful and what's this bookmark corners and a neck pillow as well nice and then what's this so this is you know how to make them the bookmark corner my sewing world so this is by jenny hasslers from feeling ostracized from the stitching community to becoming champion of inclusive sewing here is jenny's story oh that sounds really interesting so i'll have a little read of that sounds very interesting um oh and then it's just got information of the book that I showed earlier of the makes for children. Ahead of the curve, four sewists with um, sclerosis share what it's like to sew for their curvature of the spine from fitting challenges to building confidence. So, again, some beautiful makes there from people. And then a little bit of information about sclerosis. And then tips for fitting with it as well, fitting for it. And then a paper bag skirt. So an everyday garment that can be worn again and again with a self-drafted skirt tutorial. So I'm, this, it's the resurgence of skirts at the minute and I am, I'm here for that trend. I, I am. She looks lovely in that. See, I like the styling of that. Nice. So here's how to make it then and then pattern review ah georgie so georgie from um hey so sister so what has she made here it's nice and she used the tea dress by brigitte helmelson and she's using this um joy fabric that that, that she's selling as well now really really um was tempted by that no, I've got to be good. I've got to be really good. So she's um had got her pattern review on there. She looks lovely. 
and then the, the saying uh, get the look and other maxi dresses as well um the maria dress the ibi dress or the indigo dress and then thrifty cushions so scrap busting to make cushions and then the pajama bottoms that again i just think mm. oh what's this so pick a favourite fabric and sew. Tendai's show-stopping self-draft dress pattern that can be worn in a multitude of ways. So that looks amazing. Love that, like one dress worn different ways. And again, there's the information about how to make that. And then a birthday crown that you can make up. That's cute. A book bag. Oh, there's got to be a tote in there, aren't there? Oh, my magazine's torn. I didn't tear that, did I? Anyway. Um, all Well Workshop. We catch up with the dynamic duo behind All Well Workshop and How to Sew Clothes. So, that's cute. Oh, love that. That's such a nice little shirt. Uh, cardigan coat. So, yeah. That's that. Oh, love that. Look at that. Oh, it's so beautiful. Whether you're dressmaker, embroiderer, or cross stitcher, our love of upcycling, personalization, and embellishment means our paths are always crossing. Like that. The gathered grid. Georgie Lee's upcycle t shirt is a perfect excuse to get some soothing hand sewing in. So, how to do that? We need the hedgehog. That's cute, is that little hedgehog? And then, oh, I'll miss something out. Oh, no, how to make that hedgehog. And then stitch up cycles, transform a hole or stain with a super cute embroidery patch. And then Molly Johansson shows us how to do that. It's got templates there. And then I've got that same thing that they have, how to measure yourself accurately and machine needles again oh what's going to be the next one? Oh, and then what's this make an impact let your style and personality shine from the outside with finn howell's tips and advice for sewing statement jackets so little thing there and then this is going to be the next issue so the sophia dress in uk size of 6 to 30 although it's not my my bag really <laughs> Oh, I really want to like it. It's all right. It's okay. That's that's cute with the little move my face out of the way again. It's okay. It's all right. Uh, ruffle dress set, sewing room makes, oil cloth book bag, tiered party skirt, worry monster toy, stylish handbag, easy t-shirt dress, wrap trousers. Wrap trousers? That sounds interesting. And then there's four gifts, three patterns and a bonus magazine as well um right so that's the next one then that we're gonna get yeah it's very pretty and i like it i like the way that it's styled um oh hang on i've just had a look i think it's a wrap top is that yeah i think it's a slight wrap top with a ruffle oh i'm changing my mind about it now um because I'm, I'm big into that at the minute i do like that ruffle one i think that's what really gives it something slightly very different to be fair yeah i'm i'm feeling a bit more and that's it that is my review of simply sewing issue 106 that one let me know what you think let me know if you preferred me to do the flip flip through the other way or if this way is okay but yeah thanks for bearing with me i know i have been a wall for a while now <laughs> and hopefully we're back into it again so yeah and hi to my new subscribers hi thank you and i hope you enjoy watching see you in the next one bye